Robert Boyle Robert Boyle was one of the great 17th century scientists. He was an outstanding chemist. Robert Boyle was born on 25th January 1627. Robert was the seventh son of Richard Boyle, the first Earl of Cork and his wife Catherine, who died in 1630. In 1635, when he was only eight years old, Boyle was sent to Eton. He studied there until 1638. In 1639, Boyle was sent to Europe. He traveled in France, Switzerland and Italy. In 1644, Robert Boyle returned to England. At first, he stayed in London, but in 1645, he moved to Stalbridge in Dorset. As a young man, Boyle was studious and enjoyed reading, but in 1649, he became interested in science. Boyle began carrying out experiments in a laboratory in his home. About 1650, Robert Boyle became interested in biblical languages such as Hebrew and Greek. In 1654 to 1656, Boyle lived in Ireland. Then about 1656, he moved to Oxford, where many learned men were interested in science or natural philosophy as it was called. Robert Boyle continued with his experiments. In the late 1650s, he experimented with air and in 1660, he was a founding member of the Royal Society. In 1661, Robert Boyle published his great work, The Spectacle Chemist. Boyle rejected Aristotle's idea that the matter was made of four elements, water, air, fire and earth. Instead, he thought that matter was made of particles. However, Boyle did not realize there are different kinds of particles. He thought that different position, motion and numbers made particles into different substances. Robert Boyle was also a devout Christian and he was keen to evangelize the Native Americans. In 1662, he became governor of the company for the propagation of the gospel in New England. In 1668, Robert Boyle moved to London. He lived in a house in Pall Mall with his sister. He continued to do experiments in a laboratory in the house. In 1670, Boyle suffered a stroke but he continued his experiments. Robert Boyle died on 31st December 1691. Today he is remembered as a great experimenter and one of the founders of modern chemistry.